This was sort of a film that kind of caught me off guard. I am still kind of mixed about my feelings on this one. Like this was this was this was something. Uh, let's jump into my review of the new film Rounding. What's up folks and welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're going to be reviewing the film Rounding which makes its online world premiere at this year's Tribeca Film Festival 2022. Yeah, I checked this film out um, as I'm waiting for more and more films to become available this year at Tribeca and I said okay, I did not have this on my radar but I checked it out and I instantly want to say is uh, Namir Smallwood as our lead in this and James Heyman does a really good job like you're just like locked into his character because you just do not know what to believe this is a psychological thriller at its finest because you have a doctor who is dealing with trauma in all directions um he's sort of taken to blame um well taking the blame and maybe self-guilt one or the other i'm not really sure i i, I think I, for sure he blames himself and I don't think that they necessarily blamed him, but I knew in the terms of the incident that had happened at his um, first residency, and then they offered to send him to another residency uh, so that he can seek help. And I don't know, like, again, I think it's one of those circumstances where it's just like, hey, things happen when you're a doctor, um, and that's just that, you know? But he's taking it much harder. And this is causing monumental amounts of trauma. He's think he's seeing things, um, he is sort of just kind of like uh, harming himself, like just a lot. And that brings him to a case where um, he is, as he's learning, and so, first of all, rounding is basically a term I had never heard, knew. I've, I've heard of rounds, but I didn't know like the actual term was rounding, where you basically are just going around um, the, 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 uh, the, the, um, the ER or whatever it may be. Um, you're just observing and, and checking in on all of the patients that is involved. Um, but James is, you know, from one practice, uh, one, one residency to the next is truly having a connection issues with the patients. He seemed to have gotten too close to a first one and nothing in terms of like, you know, it, it is considered bad conduct, but nothing like inappropriate in the sense of like sexual misconduct or anything like that. I think he just cares about these people so much and that that's normal for a doctor to care, but he cares just more than what you typically see a doctor is he's trying to provide uh whatever he can the best uh resources or or options for these patients in in terms of whatever they're going through um but in this case now at the new residency he is like toting that thin line once again because he feels that there may be more to this patient's um issues than beyond just what is being told right here in in on her um on, on her bed thinks her mom may be involved with some other uh, mistampering and whatnot so you know this is now where he uh uh you know and and, and the patient helen who you know is a, a young asthma patient um and you know her her demons of her past um is also something that kind of comes into question as well too you can kind of say but he connects with that because he's also battling things himself but he again he believes that helen's mother is involved with a lot of the different things that are happening with her and that she's not actually dealing she's not actually actually suffering for what it appears for it to be but also again because of his mental state it's hard to tell like is it true or is it not true that's the battle of what he's dealing with uh and, and like i said he has an ankle an injured ankle that flares up um and it's sort of something that he's just sort of just kind of just battling through and i to me i i take it as kind of self-harming or, or or punishment because of everything that he's been through because he just refuses to provide to, uh, to, to give himself the treatment beyond this so like you're dealing with a young man who is just trying to get back on track trying to do the right thing but sometimes doing the right thing in his mind may not actually be the right thing you know he's again going above and beyond to figure out this whole situation with helen and her mother um and 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 what's the truth behind that and now and as i said he's dealing with his own trauma 
um, and his his own uh, bit of demons himself. But it's a fantastic, as I say, a psychological thriller. My only issue is this that I just feel that um, maybe just I, I I don't know. Maybe I feel I feel like I want it more. And when I say I want it more. I think I wanted just, especially when it started to kind of touch into uh, uh, into like the horror elements of this, I wish that we could have got just a little bit more of the atmospheric horror. Like at times I did, I just kind of always felt really in a state of disbelief. And I wish that sometimes I could be just a little bit more convinced in terms of just the the, the atmospheric horror surrounding this character uh, and just the, the whole production itself. But I, I, I think the performances was solid. Um, I, I, I thought that um, the, the film definitely has you thinking, you know, what is the truth behind all of this, you know, because the big mystery it, with, with, with Helen and her mother and, and what potential the mother's involvement is, her mother's is kind of really off hands. Like she, she's definitely a, a hard case in, in, in her own, but like understanding that and then like some little other bit of surprises that kind of comes along with the story. Um, you know, it, 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 it definitely does its job. So by all means, I think that Alex Thompson, the director, um, d did a fantastic job. I seen one of his previous films, uh, probably like a couple of years ago, South by Southwest. So I, you know, I was surprised that he was involved with this when I just kind of randomly stum stumbled upon this, uh, that like, yeah, it, it, it absolutely feels like an Alex Thompson film. And that's good. I think that, you know, from when it comes down to complex storytelling, I think it's a fantastic job there. So, you know, when I say, I don't know how I really feel about it, I think it's because I'm still mentally trying to figure out like what happened in this, like a conclusion of this film that just kind of leaves you like, Oh wow. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, but yeah, Check it out, Rounding, again, um, it makes its online world premiere at Tribeca Film Festival, so keep an eye out for this one when it becomes available. And when you do, jump in the comments, let me know your thoughts about this, and as always, stay tuned for more reviews very soon.